good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Bad Baby, formerly Cash Me Outside, has made a lot of money, in my honest opinion, being a caricature of a stereotypical impoverished african-american female she's done this to her own delight and again i say disrespecting the community trying to be her she says this is her and she made a lot of money doing it i don't know any bad baby song that i like i don't even know how she's become rich or anything like that but she's accumulated a lot of money some people believe upwards of 50 million dollars i know she made a million dollars on only fans in one day now we're talking about something else okay so this is what is going on let me let me talk about this first of all bad baby albeit she's rich has money the guy that she's dealing with is a brother by the name of levon and when I, when I did a video like you know here you have this white lady who acts like she's from the hood getting with this dude that's much broker than her it wasn't gonna turn out well i kept telling guys this and so many guys were like oh you hating on the brother you know he you know let her brother do do his thing you know I mean you know how you are i mean that's what y'all say so but i already knew it wasn't gonna work out i already knew that it was not going to work out and boom it didn't work out right what did we find out we can't post the videos but we can post screenshots we have seen her talk about how the guy is beating on her how the guy is abusing her she got a kid by this guy all right and th this is exactly what she wanted and the whole world is talking about this right now everybody she shared on ig's things and look what she's put on the story listen to this i love that man more than i love myself and it's honestly really sad but unfortunately this is real life i know the easy way out is to leave and that's better said than done this doesn't happen this extreme often but lv definitely has a problem he's going to get the help he's need right now there's no room for mistakes and he knows that whoever says they are there for me will be supportive of me no matter what i choose to do y'all know i give a mf in hell but there's no excuse for that at all whatsoever my point in sharing this wasn't to attack him it was for him to see what he does is wrong and to take accountability and make a change. Now, isn't this interesting? So you have this abusive guy, you've posted pictures, which we will not post pictures today, and you want him to make a real change. Let me say this respectfully, and the young man is definitely wrong for putting his hands on a woman. That is absolutely the God's honest truth. You should never do that. I'm a strong support against anti-violence for women i believe that you have no respect as a man putting your hands on women okay it is so much easier and so much effective to just leave them alone if you have that kind of problem or go get professional help but honestly honey what you don't understand is he is not the only problem here okay he is not the only problem here first of all you want him to take accountability but you're not taking accountability for how you have presented yourself in the public and this is going on with a lot of the ladies out here and the kind of men that they attract whether the man is abusive or not look at Nicki minaj she kind of takes her little digs here and there upset with the man's performance in many ways kiki palmer you see what she got she's upset with the man's performance in some ways and then you know you have summer walker who's always upset the reality is honey what do you expect him to be Levon is who he always has been, okay? The fact that you have him and you're more successful than him says a lot also about you and what your intentions are. You're dealing with a guy you're probably taking care of, okay? And as a lady who has a lot of money and you have probably a lot of fans and maybe guys that would be honest and would be want to maybe deal with you more seriously that are more successful than him, you you chose this guy and you're giving him a way out because you want him to he's abusive and you want to take accountability no what you should do is you should look at yourself and say ah, i don't really want to deal with that he most likely isn't going to change i don't know why i'm apologizing for him let me work on my personal values on my own self-validation and my own self-worth and then improve some of the things that are attracting these kind of people to my lifestyle and so i can change because just because you have money doesn't mean that you're not uh, 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 attracting trashy people it's a lot of women and men in the industry that are attracting trash because that's what they what they're presenting to the world you might have money but you're, you're you're hanging around trashy mates it's a lot of folks that got money and they hang around people that are trash 
So you need to go ahead on and forgive yourself for being like that. And that goes for anybody, male or female. I see so many people you know they're hanging around with the wrong crowd why does you know what why do i get abused or why do i get scammed or why do i get this and that and well i mean well why do you why do you want to be around you know people that are like this and again i understand violence against anyone is wrong it's wrong when it's against women or men i get it i'm not here to say that nobody does i'm not saying no one deserves this but at the same time when your life is attracting a certain kind of guy to you what, what do you do? Obviously, I can guarantee you the, the reason why most men, and, I, and I've noticed this, men who deal with women who have more than them sometimes can be abusive for that fact alone. Because sometimes men are insecure. This is a man that can't take care of you. This is a man that you're providing for. I'm, I'm quite probably sure that's the case. Did you expect him to be okay with that? Maybe he can't be okay with that. Okay, maybe he can't. The man that's bloodied your lip, bloodied your eyes. This is a guy that can't take for the fact that you're the real breadwinner in the house, most likely, because if he had self-control over himself, he wouldn't do that. The key thing is to look at yourself and say, well, what, what am I doing to uh, even deal with a person like this? What, what is going on with me? And see, once we can get there, then you can be helped. Let me give you an, a, a, an example of a story that I want to tell. He's, my brother used to go to the Bank of America on Inglewood. Those of you who remember there, it is on 330 East Manchester Boulevard. It is now closed. Legendary Bank of America in Inglewood. Almost everybody there was black, okay? Now, there was a lady that was a banker that worked there. A very beautiful lady. This had to be in the late 90s. And my brother really, 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 really liked this lady. Uh, he was working for his uncle at the time. Um, you know, our, our uncle was a very successful businessman, had a lot of money. So, you know, he's working in the family's business and all that. So at the particular time, he was trying to date this lady and lady was fine. And I never saw her, but if he said that she was fine, definitely she was fine. Had a big old booty, everything. My brother was a college graduate, you know, successful man himself. She was like, listen, honey, um, really would like to take you out to dinner, get to know you. You, you, you know, you're a banker. She's like, yeah, you know, I really am attracted to you too. But unfortunately, I'm, you know, I'm in, I'm in a relationship with this person and I'm really in love with. So my brother didn't give it no mind or anything like that. So, okay, I understand, you know, so two months later, come down the road or goes down the road. He says, listen, honey, you know, um, I know I've already asked you before, but I'd love to ask you again, you know, what is the opportunity of me and you getting together? He said, well, you know, me and my boyfriend, um or on a on a on a break right now but um you know i could probably get some coffee with you and things like that and uh so you know they they went out i think uh uh, uh a few times and what was discovered was the boyfriend was driving her car you know he had other women in the car um basically he wasn't doing anything on the level that she was doing and it turned my brother off so much that he kind of backed off the lady because he was like well if you will deal with someone like that like why am i dealing with you myself this doesn't make any sense which is what which was the case and he stopped and of course she went back to that guy and i don't know what the outcome was for that relationship but it showed my brother that number one you know she didn't respect herself so it gave my brother the idea that he shouldn't waste his time with a woman that didn't have any respect for herself he was better off going another way. So basically that could have cost her a serious relationship with a man that wanted to respect her, but because she disrespected herself, it said, you know what? I don't have time for this and to be going back and forth with trying to change your mind. Let me leave you alone, which is what you should do. When you see a woman involved in this sort of situation where she does not want to uh, you know, do the right thing. And she's having situations with a man and you have to try to convince her that she's better than that. Listen, man, Jesus died for everyone's sins, right? If Jesus can't help them, neither can you. You are to leave that woman immediately, right? So guys, we think it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Make sure if you do, serve help, subscribe to the bell, we're out.